What's happening everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about two very special fish of mine. So let's have a look at them. Tonight, we're gonna to be talking about my Tomensis bass. So there's one big one there, and the other one's just over there. So we're gonna be talking about the growth rate, um, food, etc., etc. And I'll show you some photos as well in the video about how fast they've grown in the time I've had them. But anyway, let's crack on the vid. Right, welcome back to the video. Right, like I said, we're going to be talking about my Tementis Peacock bass tonight and um, um, just showing you the growth rate, etc., etc., about them. So, right, I've got two Tementis bass here. I've had them since, um, when have I had them? Since November, so I've owned them nine months. I'm going to show you some photos as well on their growth rate and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, they're really great fish to keep. The growth rate is astronomical, they just get big so fast. You need massive tanks for them. They outgrow the mono, they outgrow the Reno bass. Uh, Kilbari, they outgrow all of them, they're the, sort of the biggest peacock bass you can sort of keep. They come from the Amazon River, um, I keep them in the same sort of, as you can see, I keep them in the same sort of water as all the fish in here. Uh, the temperature you can sort of range from 24 to 28, I've, this tank went up to 30 when it was really hot a few weeks ago, and they was completely flying. They was actually, they eat like crazy, but they was actually eating like crazy even more, they was taking the food even harder, so I don't know if it was something to do with the temperature, it probably was, it's a bit like crocodiles when it warms up and stuff. So they take the food harder, but um, but yeah, temperature 24 to 28, something like that. You can keep it in between. I normally keep my heat is about 27 all year round. Try to anyway, because it sort of varies in the summer and stuff. But it stays like that in the winter. Um, what else can I say about them? I feed them on um, Hikari pellet, NT Labs pellet. They eat prawns, they eat mussels, they eat bloodworms, all sorts of frozen stuff. So they have frozen stuff sort of once a week. Um, they have pellets five days a week and then water change days, I don't feed them at all. But um, I'm just going to show you some photos now, just, just below here, of um, how fast they've actually grown. So um, it'd be like a month and a month and a month, see how fast they've grown for you. And they, um, they sort of colour up as well a lot more, when they get bigger and bigger. When you first get them, you think, um, well I'll show you in the photo anyway, but you think, you don't even know what sort of fish they are, it's really hard to tell what they are, um, they've got like a sort of a black stripe and stuff and they're sort of yellow, but, um, but let's just pop up some of these photos and I'll show you on there, down below, so this is the photos. Right, so that's basically um, how fast they've grown in um, the space of like nine, it's just only nine months, I haven't even had them in a year yet, so I've had my arowanas, I've had the silver arowana three years, and he's sort of this sort of size now, you know, so two sort of foot, but the, um, yeah, the Tementis, it's going to be quite scary to see him fully grown at some point, I don't even know if they're going to outgrow the tank, so um, I don't want to get rid of them, but I can't get a big tank in this house, so um, I don't really know what I do about them, but they're fine at the moment, you know, the growth rate, seems to have not slowed down it's it's gradually it's staying the same every month so if not it's gone up a little bit higher so um that's a little bit worrying but um but anyway let's let's zoom in on here zoom in on the um the tomensis for you and i'll show you how actually how big they are so here they're both here now look so there's one of them there one of them's a bit more dominant than the other as well which is funny and one of them's a little bit longer and it's got a, sort of a more colorful tail so i, I think the male I think the male is the more dominant one, which is this one here. So he's got a bit more of a blacker gill. Let me just try and zoom in for it. So there, there he is there. So I'm pretty sure he's the male. See, look, he's sort of chasing the uh, mono round as well. And I think that might be a female, but I don't really know because they are, um, they're very similar match size, but you can see the darkness in the colour of him compared to that one at the top there. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's the uh, Tementis bass. They're completely, absolute monster fish. You're going to need big tanks for these. Um, if you want to keep bass and you've got sort of smaller tanks, I recommend keeping like um, Kelbari or Monos. Monos get quite big as well, but Kelbari sort of stay a bit smaller. Or Reno bass, they're quite, they stay a bit smaller. See this one here, look. He's a little bit smaller. Let's zoom in on the Mono for you as well. There's the Mono there. So, stunning fish as well. A bit like the Tementis. Got a very similar sort of tail, but different markings all round. Different sort of goldier look. But yeah, that's the um, that's basically the growth rate on the uh, Tomensis bass and stuff. But this tank they're in at the moment is 2,000 litres. It's uh, 10 foot long, so it's big enough for the fish. But um, 
obviously I've got a fair few other fish in there. I've got the Oscars and bits like that in there and um, I just uh, feel like if they get any bigger, well, I know they're gonna get no, they're gonna get bigger. If they get massive, I'll have to sort of um, sort of toy with either getting rid of them or getting rid of some of the other sort of fish in there because I do love them, I love them to bits. I think they're great fish to keep. They take food like it's no tomorrow. But anyway, I may as well do a feed while I'm here. I need to feed them anyway, so let's show you what they actually take the food like. So tonight we're gonna give them some pellets. Let's get some pellets ready. So they will take all of this food, all the fish in here will do. So we've got the algae wafers here, which I just literally put in there. Quite big these algae wafers, they're sort of this sort of size. So there's the algae. Let me just flip this camera up so I can see what I'm doing. There's the algae wafers, then we've got the curry sinking pellets, carnival pellets, which is better than now. That one loves these. There he is, there's that noise. And then some of these floating food sticks. So there's like a, there's a whole pot of food there. Let's cut these back because they're not falling over and spilling them the boat. But yeah, these, a lot of people have asked me because um, the last few videos I've done on these uh, with the feeding videos and stuff, where you get these sort of um, Hikari big bags. I might just go from eBay. I think they I think the sinking carnival was about 45 quid for a big bag like that. It's two, two kilograms, I like that. 2.2.2 um, 1 kilogram each and then this here food sticks is 1 kilogram so they're all 1 kilogram bags the average weight is only 35 quid something like that food sticks is 40 quid so it's quite reasonable if you've got massive tanks and you're fishing you've got crazy like mine you don't want to be going out and buying the little bags like 250 grams so it doesn't last long I mean, it's cheap to buy it this way but anyway let's um let's feed the fish Tilly can you come and film this with me? My girlfriend, she's gonna come down and video me feeding them, so. But yeah, that's basically them. Got the um, got the pellets ready here. There's a whole tub of pellets here. They're, they're munchies in about two, three minutes, it'll all be gone. So yeah. Right, she's coming now. See the weather today, look at the state of the weather, look. Your incredible, amazing fiance assistant right. is here. Go on, film me. <laughs> right, so watch him. Come and come right up close. Let me just let it There's focus. Some, that's the pentamentis bag, yeah? So, these two here, look. See how crazy they go for the food, look. See, this is the male and this is the female, I'm pretty sure. But let's throw the food in anyway. There we go. You see how hard the tamentis take the food. Sort of giving the arowanas a run for their money at the moment as well. Right, so that's near enough all that food completely gone now. You see from here that there's a little couple of bits left on top. It's only been about a minute and a half so far, so they're still taking the food really hard. But um, but yeah, that's basically it on Tementis bass so far. They're still completely growing. There's loads more growth to do on these fish. So um, I'll keep you updated on the fish, but I um, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.